लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन इज बेसिकली द टर्मिनल एंड ऑफ अवर डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक सो लास्ट वन फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर इज द लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन विच वी कॉल एज अ कोलोरेक्टम एंड द लास्ट फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर इज द रेक्टम सो एनी कैंसर विच डेवेल्प इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द इंटेस्टाइन वी कॉल दम एज अ कोलोरेक्टल कैंसर कोलेक्टल कैंसर इज बेसिकली ऑफ टू टाइप्स वन इज द लेफ्ट साइडेड कैंसर विच इंक्लूड द डिसेंडिंग कोलन कैंसर सिगमर्ड कैंसर एंड रेक्टम and the other is a right sided collateral cancers which involve the cecum and the ascending colon factors like dietary factor so use of a low fiber diet use of alcohol smoking uh they are all associated with the uh, collateral cancers even diets which are uh, which are rich in high dairy uh, high fat dairy uh, products diets which are low fiber diets so they are all increase the incidence of collateral cancers more than the dietary and lifestyle factor so there are the familial factors like a history of uh, inflammatory bowel disease history of polyp in the colon patient who has a family history of collateral cancer or there are some familial cancer syndromes like fap hnpcc in which multiple uh, members of the same family they are not so these are all the risk factors for collateral cancers contrary to the popular belief that there was a myth that it's a white man disease so initially it used to be a disease of western population but now with lifestyle changes with changes in dietary pattern like low fiber diet so we are increasingly seeing more and more collateral cancers in india so it's just like diabetes it's now like a an pandemic in india screening is basically one is the fecal test which we, in which we see the for the blood in feces we call it as a fecal occult blood test the other is the tumor marker like a cea which is used in all elderly patient who are going in for health checkup the other invasive screening is the colonoscopy so colonoscopy is like putting a scope into the large intestine through our stool passage so screening is available so if you see in western countries so anybody more than age of 40 so the undergo a regular screening colonoscopy every 5 years but in india because there, there is a limited health resources and because of the population we cannot offer screening to all population so we recommend uh, screening to those patient who have a high risk features like history of inflammatory bowel disease history of polyposis syndrome any family history of collateral cancer or those who are having some worrisome features so worrisome feature is like bleeding per rectum patient who have a unexplained anemia patient who have a unexplained weight loss so these are all patient or a recent change in bowel habits so these are the features which are like worrisome features so anybody with a high risk group or anybody with these worrisome features so we ask them for a regular screening like recent change in bowel habit this is the most common symptom so patient who was uh, chronically constipated suppose suddenly starts having diarrhea or a patient who was passing motion 3 to 4 times a day so now has recent development of constipation or patient who has a unexplained anemia so hemoglobin is percentage low or patient who has a unexplained weight loss so these are all signs or any bleeding per rectum so these are all signs of early signs of a collateral cancer there are lot of treatment options are available including surgery even surgeries these days with the advent of laparoscopy with robotic surgery the morbidity associated with surgery is quite less moreover it, uh, collateral cancer they respond also very well to chemotherapy even radiation treatment is available so we have lot of options available so if it is diagnosed early so collateral cancer develops from polyps so if you diagnose it at the stage of polyp it can actually be cured even by colonoscopy only so even even if diagnosed late even if it is advanced so we have still lot of options and we can have long term survivals even in patient who have uh, collateral cancer which have spread to the lungs to the liver we, we can still with chemotherapy uh, have a long term good results yes there are lot of preventive measures like change in dietary lifestyle so increase your fiber in the diet increase vitamin a vitamin c beta carotene so increased quantity has been shown to be effective in decreasing collateral cancers at the same time in diet we should avoid refined foods we should avoid red meat processed meats and high 
uh, fat dairy products so these are all associated with increase in uh, colorectal cancers obesity itself is a risk factor colorectal cancers alcohol smoking we should decrease these things so uh, the other important aspect apart from this is the screening so early diagnosis so even if you have any symptom you should consult your doctor you should get yourself screened so, and even if uh, diagnosed so early treatment modalities so they are all important to improve your long term survival